Hi, welcome to my video. And today I'm going to look at some Google My Business tips and tricks and some real secrets that maybe you haven't realized are out there. Maybe they're hidden away. And also stick around because at the end of my video, I'm going to look at the three questions that people are asking most about Google My Business. So let's delve into Google My Business and find out some secrets that you need to know about. Hi, I'm Zane from Zanet Design, and uh, I use my 20 years of experience to help you as small businesses, entrepreneurs, or web designers to see how you can benefit your website from the things that I share with you in these videos. Now, today we're looking particularly at Google My Business and some secrets that maybe you're not aware of and things that you can do that will really enhance your particular branding or your website. When it comes to small businesses, obviously Google is really encouraging people to get their businesses in on the maps and to get them registered. And so uh, there are quite a few things that perhaps are hidden away that can really help get your business listing closer to the top when people locally are looking for recommendations and testimonials regarding your particular business. So before we go into those three questions that everyone's asking, which is uh, something we'll go on to, we're going to first of all delve into several things that perhaps aren't apparent when you first log in to your account for Google My Business. Uh, before I go into those, though, do make sure you subscribe because I'm often coming out with videos that are going to help you. And if you miss them, uh, then obviously you'll miss out on the benefits of those videos. So not only subscribe below, but also there's a bell that you can press there that will notify you when I next update my channel. So if you can do that, I'd really appreciate that. So let's now look uh, at some of these things that we can do that are gonna help you with your business on Google. So my first uh, tip is to claim your business. And it could just be a case of you've not actually done a search. So say for instance, you own a flower shop and uh, you haven't actually put your business in. It could be someone else has already put the business on Google Map for you. So uh, in a case of like uh, this one, uh, possibly here, let's see if that's been claimed. Um, yeah, there you go. So it's, it's suggesting, do you own this business? And if, you, uh, if it's your business, then claim it because again, you can then start to ask, uh, answer questions and you can then connect your website and even give it the correct uh, information that probably at the moment, someone's just put it in there uh, to try and help uh, Google. So claim your business is my first tip. So my second tip is to make sure that the address is correct. Uh, and the reason this is important is if this is incorrect, then obviously that's not gonna do any good. Particularly if you've got a website and you mention the address uh, on your website, make sure that the two are identical. And uh, just another tip here as well, is you may think that high ST is correct. So uh, if this is your business, you might uh, have put that in or someone else would probably put it in for you because it's not been claimed. But um, there's a difference in Google's eyes between high street and high ST. So again, if you're going to use ST, use it everywhere. If you ideally use the full thing like street, same with like Southampton, uh, don't put S-O-T-O-N as a shortcut for Southampton, uh, but make sure that's correct. And the same even with your phone number, uh, don't use O-1 number, say a home number, and then use your mobile as well. So don't mix anything, even things like the hours, the moment they've got open 24 hours, it's probably not the case. Um, so again, if you've got opening hours on say a, a Saturday and Sunday, they're closed, make sure that's consistent on your website too. So all these things, consistency is so important when it comes to claiming your website. So that's the second tip. The third tip is just make sure that if you do have any reviews, so if we look at, um, let's say, uh, let's go for a flower shop that's got some reviews here. So we've got 18 reviews here. So uh, they do have reviews, 3.9, which is good. But uh, just looking through here, um, has any been given replies? It's important to reply to your reviews as well. So if you were the owner, um, you should be replying to your reviews. If you do that, uh, not only can you use the keywords 
that will help to promote your website or your business again but also at the same time it's just considered um, a good way of dealing with your customers if you reply to their concerns and that can be particularly even if it's a negative concern or a negative comment so if you've got like a one star you can still you don't need to justify it but just say i'm really sorry to hear that um you know please make yourself known next time you come in the shop and we'll see what we can do to help you that type of thing will help establish you again in google's eyes as being a reputable company that's worthy of the stars that you've been given. So again, looking at these shops, again, I don't know um, if it's your shop, but uh, this is just purely for a reference purpose. So uh, tip uh, number four is to make sure you've claimed your shortened URL. Now the shortened URL appears if you go to information and you'll notice I've already entered mine, but uh, if you go to where you've got this at sign, this gives you the ability to decide what um, what will be shown when it comes to a shortened version. So uh, the map version of your um, listing is quite complicated. This makes it a lot easier. So I put Zanet Design Limited. Um, you can change it up to three times a year, and you need there's a couple of uh, rules like you need it to be more than five letters. Um, but uh, we're going to use that. Uh, what does that mean? What it means is you can uh, give a shortcut to um, your website by just typing in uh, g dot page, and then as you can see, that Zaynet Design Limited. So let's just do that again. G dot page slash Zaynet, and then you just there you go, Zanet Design Limited. So that's kind of quite an easy um, thing to put on a business card or to send through to someone. But what that does, it gives you uh, the complete entry to where you are on Google Maps and all of the reviews and everything about you and what your business does and so on. So that's kind of a really nice handy way to get someone to that section or to that area of your site. So let's just um, go back to uh, to where we were. Okay, my fifth uh, tip is to just really make sure that all of your opening and closing times are correct. Again, this is important. It's good to get it on your website as well. So on your website, uh, these times should also be reflected uh, on your website. So make sure that even the closing dates uh, are kept up to date too. So that's important to make sure you keep your business entry up to date when it comes to the opening times. Uh, the sixth thing I like to say is really just about categories as well. So you notice here that you want to pick your number one category, your primary category, and then after then do fill out the rest of these. Try and get the most relevant categories to what it is that you do. Uh, if you only do one or two things, uh, then just try and find something that's as close as possible. Obviously, if, it, if you really can't find all five, then that's fine. But uh, try and get them as updated as you can. And again, uh, that can take a while to be approved. So it doesn't necessarily mean that if you choose it, that it'll be approved for you. But normally about three days later, it's published. So that's uh, another tip that I'd like to, uh, to remind you of. Our next tip is when it comes to writing posts, Again, it might just be worth considering how you're going to grab someone's attention. So it could be that uh, you've uh, written a post and uh, you link it through to your website. Um, but because you can't format anything, you need to just consider perhaps how uh, the image itself um, needs to grab, grab their attention or um, maybe just something that's said that will help them to to think uh, like here would you like a free review of your website well if some people are looking for web designers then probably to get a free review uh, and again emphasizing it's free may want them help them to to click through so at the moment that's one of the promotions i'm doing that they can order online for free and they get a free website review so just consider how it would sound if someone visited your website and uh, obviously again the more visitors you get the, the greater the response will be. Now one of the most important things to um, help when it comes to getting your business known is when you write the description here as well. So the description area has a limitation, 750 uh, letters that you can use. 
So try and just consider again, putting as much information in there that's going to help someone to uh, come along and to see what you do and uh, see that you really can understand what it is that is their needs and how you can help them with it. So maybe mentioning your experience at the beginning, where you are, again, bearing in mind this is a local listing really. So maybe worth mentioning where you're based, what you do, and how they can contact you as well. Those are all kind of good ways. And try and use up those 750 uh, letters as best as you can. So that's my eighth tip. My ninth tip would be to make sure that you have an offer, uh, an opening offer even. So if you go to post and then you've got offers there, and this is, uh, you can make a, an offer to anyone in general, but you can also have an offer where it's particularly aimed for people that are there for the first time. So people that haven't subscribed, they can then contact you as well. So make sure that you use that uh, facility that you choose actually for specifically people that are there visiting you for the first time. Point number 10 is to make sure that you keep using the photos. Um, I find a lot of my traffic comes from just uploading really high quality photos of what I do. Um, so videos, photos, um, just helps people, it draws them in. So you can see some of these have got some uh, views. Um, people do want to see what you do, what work you do as well. And that can set you apart from the majority of, of other people. So uh, you know, in, in, in the case of, uh, of perhaps even people just looking at my office, uh, 617, have uh, viewed that. So it's just good to, to try and uh, recognize that keep uploading photos. That keeps it nice and fresh and tends to get uh, a lot of traffic I found. One of my next tips is just to make sure also that you've registered your mobile with Google. Uh, here if you look at uh, how there's uh, the ability to request a quote and that will just go straight through to uh, contacting me. So if we click that uh, then it goes straight through and they can then um, put in a quote or they can ask to contact me and that will immediately come through to my mobile. So the Google My Business have this ability where you can request a quote button, but you do have to first of all set it up using the Google My Business app. So once that's installed on your mobile phone, then you can have that feature where it'll come through and immediately let you know. And one of the other things as well is to have offers and products. So again, if you, if you have, for instance, a special offer, you can put that there. So that would be another tip. Also ask questions. One of the suggestions is to put some questions yourself and answer them. Because uh, if you do that, it just helps people get answers to their questions. Um, so here you can see that we've got some questions that I've given answers to as well. These are some common questions that people ask. And that again, just helps Google understand that we're trying to make it as easy as possible for people to uh, really understand what it is that your business is doing well locally. So questions and answers uh, again really help to provide you with uh, tips. So in effect uh, we've come up with 13 tips there for you to use on your listing for Google My Business. Hopefully these Google My Business tips have been helpful and please uh, comment or let me know if you feel there's anything I've missed.